yo, <laughs> you may or may not remember me from my video that I did covering Zeke from Caleb's financial audit show and all of the manipulative lies and tactics that he tried to use in order to deplatform Caleb. Now, I'm not here specifically to go over that again. Um, that's not what my platform is about and that's not what I want it to be. If you're interested in watching that video, I'll link it up here and in the description below, but it is not necessary to watch that video to get the context for this video, okay? I just want to discuss what my platform is about and why I don't want to be particularly involved with being a drama content creator. For better or worse, drama tubers, as I like to call them, grow exponentially fast. Like, whoosh. Like, you can launch a channel just going off of drama, talking about other people and current events really, really fast. And that's fine. I don't have any bones or beef about what people want to do to be able to grow their channel. That's not what I want to do, but I have no problem with other people talking about current events or talking about journalism or doing what they need to do to cover topics that they enjoy talking about. I just happen to like talking about helping people out with long distance relationships and creating families and being the best version of yourself. But sometimes it might be necessary where I need to cover someone because they would provide a prime example of things that you shouldn't do to find more friends or connections or what have you. So first and foremost, one of the main reasons that I'm not being a drama YouTuber is because I don't have the iconic douche stash. I am incapable of growing this thing. I genuinely cannot see myself with that spectacular stash. I, I don't know what it is about that mustache. It just seems like such a weird trend that anybody that has super controversial opinions tends to just wear a stash i i don't know what it is but hey you do you i'm not i'm not, i'm gonna judge you for it but i'm not gonna knock it or anything it's certainly a fashion choice that you're free to make another thing is that these channels that cover other dramatic topics or cover other channels they tend to build a negative reputation not only with the channels that they're talking about but with other channels that don't have anything to do with these channels, as well as their viewers. Overall, when you become a drama tuber, it just builds a negative resentment, and you can have so many different biases that you may or may not intend to have. And then when you talk about specific audiences or specific channels or specific people, it tends to rally the audience that you build to go to that person's channel and further harass that person, which is completely unnecessary. And I never want that to happen personally. But it also cuts ties and prevents you from being able to collaborate with other people and other channels that could actually help you out in your growth. I would love to be able to talk and intermingle with other channels. I don't know who, because I have less than 100 subscribers. So if you actually, if you want to see me go over 100 and be one of the first 100 subscribers, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because that would be super cool to reach 100 subscribers before the end of March. Thanks in advance. Anyways, with that small plug out of the way, the point is, is that when you talk about other people, it builds a negative image of you and what you stand for. Because I don't know about anybody else out there, but personally, if I see somebody talking down about somebody, and they have a heavy bias towards it, or it's for reasons that don't need to be reasons, I'm gonna have a very negative opinion and I don't want anything to do with that person or that channel or their platform or anything, because then if I interact with them, it's gonna come back to me because somebody that watches them is also gonna be watching me and then they're gonna make a connection and crosswire things and make assumptions about the fact that maybe I'm good friends with that drama tuber over there. Okay, so that smells kind of funny to me, I don't want that on me, okay? I don't want like any negative energy around me. I don't want to be involved with all this giant mess. The entire reason I talked about Zeke was because there are lessons to be learned from Zeke and his channel and the way he operates. I didn't do it to grow my channel. It just so happens that it's my most popular video. But you want to know what? I guarantee you anything in like two or three years time, if I happen to get 100,000 or even a million subscribers down the road, that Zeke video is probably going to be one of my least 
viewed videos. Which is going to bring me to my next point, is that drama content is not evergreen content. There's only so long that a trending search term is growing on YouTube. This Zeke video is eventually going to flatline in terms of reach because nobody's going to give a damn about it in like two weeks. This is going to eventually fall off and then I'm not ever going to get any views on it anymore because people don't care about Zeke anymore. He is going to have his time and then he's going to fall off and then nobody's going to remember him anymore because he's always going to be this old troglodyte that's just running around trying to get fame when there's nothing to be had. And my video that I made discussing him is eventually going to stop getting views because nobody cares. And I don't like creating content that isn't beneficial for the long term. I want to be able to help people out with each video that I release, including this one, because I want you and I to know what kind of level we're on as like a, a content creator and you as a viewer. I want you to know that I am not here to like dethrone or try to deplatform anyone. I'm just over here vibing and minding my own business and doing my own thing. And I wish that a lot more people would do that, but that's not the world that we live in. Next, I just genuinely don't have the spare time to dedicate deep research into most of these events that pop up because I work a full-time job. I'm a full-time husband, full-time father. I'm full-time in so many different things. This YouTube thing, I dedicate maybe three hours out of it, out of a day for it, if that. I got my exercise. I've got my self-development. I've got my wife, my kid, my job. I do so much other things that I am literally just living day by day, waiting until this pops off, I guess, but that's besides the point. I am busy with my own life and my wife and my son's lives. I don't have the time to do research and dedicated interviews or research or whatever on every event that happens. I just can't do it. Because by the time I do release a video covering that current event, there's already five, ten other people that have already released videos on it. And by that point, I'm just throwing another noodle on that pile of spaghetti and there's literally no value that I can provide other than just adding to what's already been said. I would not put myself out there as having a unique perspective. Finally, like I said near the beginning of this video, I want my platform to be more than just talking about other people. I want to collaborate with people, and sometimes I may have to bring someone up as an example because there's a lesson to be learned from what they did, yes. but. What my platform is about is self-development and holistic self-improvement so that way you can be the best version of yourself so that way in the future you can be the best husband for your future wife and the best father for your future kids. That's the whole point of my platform is to make sure that you can develop yourself into a healthy, successful version of the person that you want to be so that way you can support the family that you want to have in the future. That is what this is about. I want to help people create the lives that they want to create. It's a long-term vision, going to take a long-ass time, but hey, we're going to get there one video at a time. Now, sure, we can flip this to the other side of the coin and say, hey, Jeff, when you post videos online, don't you open yourself to scrutiny as well? And to that, I say, yes, I know that. That is why I'm creating this video. Because I know that as I upload more videos and I become more recognizable, I am going to have things said about me. And does that bother me? Of course it's going to bother me sometimes, especially if what someone is saying is just argumentatively false or incorrect. But I don't have time to worry or stress about something that someone is saying when it didn't happen. I can they can have 20 million subscribers and he's saying you know that Jeff Burns guy with less than 100 subscribers is the most evil person on the planet. And that's his objective reality over there, but that's not what's actually going on. So that 20 million subscriber is, channel is going to be sending a wave of people at me. And it, 
yeah, maybe there will be a time where somebody does raid me and I get raided with a bunch of mean comments. But you want to know what? I don't have time to be worrying about what negative people say about me if it's not true or factually incorrect. I keep it moving over here. I keep it pushing. I just want to create content to help you so that way you can go on to help your family. That is the whole point. I want to help people help families. So because families are a core of a community and a community is the core of humanity. So you can disagree with me all you want. You can make videos about me. You can make rude comments about me. But at the end of the day, I keep it pushing. I keep it moving. And I'm just over here vibing, minding my own business, trying to help people, trying to be able to help communities. And that's what I'm all about. Maybe in the future I say one thing one time that gets posted on World Star, and then it gets misconstrued way out of context. And that's a whole different discussion for a future video. But I just wanted to put this here because I wanted to set the record straight. That's why I'm not being a drama YouTuber. I don't have the time for it. I don't have the stamina for it. I don't have the reach for it. And quite frankly, I don't have the douche stash for it. Anyways, once again, if you're interested in more videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like, dislike, doesn't matter. Engagement helps. Comment below. What do you think I should do to be able to help more people out? Because I want to be out here actually helping create families. Let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.